Hey, sugar boo, welcome back to another hair tutorial. Here we have my oldest daughter, Kalia, and Lord, look at all this hair, y'all, okay? The ancestors are singing from above. So we are about to straighten this mess because y'all know it is blowout season. We got to come with the inches. The humidity is finally dying down. Let's get into this look and how we style Kalia's gorgeous curls into this straight look. And ooh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, bestie. If you are new to our channel, we would love for you to join the family. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit the notification bell as well. So we are starting off with Kalia's hair being air dried and I had to apply some water to that dry hair, okay? This is what her hair looks like with no product in it whatsoever. And then I'm going in with the Garnier Fructis Anti-Frizz, Anti-Humidity. I think that's what it said on that bottle. There we go, we going in with that. So we going in with something inexpensive, bestie. Y'all know I am frugal, okay? We are always doing some inexpensive looks. So I'm going in to blow dry this all into her hair. I like to do it stretched out first. This definitely helps. And then I go in with a blow dryer brush, one of those like round bristled ones. It's supposed to, you know, heat up the brush and you get all this like smoky textureness. Don't worry, that's not heat damage. That's just me kinking out all them kinks, okay? So now once we have done that, we're gonna go into the Slick and Shine Serum. This is like a oil anti-frizz serum that Garnier Free Teas has. This is the entire like sleek anti-humidity line. I use it on Kehlani and it does wonders. So I wanted to check it out, see how it was gonna do on Kalia. So once I apply that, I'm gonna go in with this Flat Iron Perfector. I believe that's what that is. I'ma just spritz that on there. I really don't know if it does a difference, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Um, I definitely see the difference with Kalia's hair or with Lonnie's hair, but with Kalia's, I I, 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 I ain't see a difference. It's, but it's all right, we used it anyway. So I do it on high heat, the highest that my flat iron can go because homegirl got kinks back there and we wanna straighten those out. And I do a couple of passes, nice and slow, and that's pretty much it. Flat ironing is just, is, there's no real science to it, at least to me it's not. But move slow, I do small sections, try not to do a whole lot of hair, and I try not to burn my child's ear off. That's usually the goal, that's usually the goal. So y'all know as I'm doing my child's hair, I love to give y'all a little family update so y'all can be up to date on what craziness I'm going through with, you know, being a mom. So <laughs> my child is 10 years old. Um, I've, I've been a mother for 10 years and I recently got a DSS visit because um, uh, someone decided to tell a teacher that uh, they didn't like the way I disciplined my child, okay? And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it definitely put a kink, a nice little dent in my shoulder, okay? My confidence as a mom definitely was questioned. And you know, just having some stranger who don't even know you question you on how you care for your kids definitely hurts. It hurts, like, it hurt my pride, it hurt my feelings. I definitely cried for about two, three days. Now I definitely don't think I'm the world's greatest mom, but damn, a visit from DSS? Come on, you know, like, I, I, <laughs> the time to call DSS would not have been now, okay? They should have called back when I first had Kalia. That's when I didn't have my shit together. Me and Kalia was living in this hell hole. All right, I was 19 years old with a baby, working at KFC. No, when I got my life together, providing for my kids, paying my bills, there, there was time I didn't have AC and heat in my house. N nobody was ever called then, but they call when you get your life together. You know what, <sighs> I, I don't usually like to believe in haters, but I feel like this was some pain going on. Like, Jesus. Well, anyway, y'all, I'm still recovering from it. You know, I, I just feel like coming on here venting just really helps me with my recovery process because I can't afford a therapist right now. So y'all, y'all just gonna have to hear me out, okay? It is a struggle being a mom. It is so hard. And I, I mean, it definitely put a, a new insecurity into light for me. And I kind of hate that because damn, I already got enough, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I got enough insecurities. I don't need to add whether or not I'm mistreating my child or if I'm not being a better mom for my kids. Oh God, you know what? I'm a, we gonna get back to the video. So anyways, I'm wrapping her hair up because um, the, the flat iron alone was just not giving me the sleekness that I wanted. 
Um, so, you know what? This might be child abuse right here. I'm wrapping my child up in plastic, about to suffocate her. Lord, help me. I got it on camera. Anyways, so I'm just going to wrap her hair up in this plastic wrap, and we're gonna put her under the blow dryer for about 15 minutes. I put a little oil sheen on there as well, and then we're just gonna pull this right on off. And Kalia is like totally amazed by this. It did help out with getting some of that like freeziness. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot, at least to me, I can see a difference. Uh, and I'm just combing it out, trying not to tangle it. Her hair is so freaking long. Like her hair wraps around her head like three times. So trying to find the beginning and the end of this mess was a, a hot mess. So that is pretty much it. I'm giving her, I'm gonna give her a light trim off camera and she is done. Now the humidity was still kind of kicking on this day. So it did not last as long as I wanted to. I did have to go back and blow dry it out a little bit more and wrap it up real good. But for the most part, this is it for a blowout season. Thank you guys for joining us on another video and just listening to me. I appreciate that. But we'll see y'all on another video. Thank you guys. Stay safe and be blessed.